Hello and welcome to Medical Shorts by Tutor IMG. In this tutorial, I am going to tell you how to differentiate between mania and hypomania. Mania and hypomania are the conditions in which a person experiences a change in normal behavior. The patient is going to present with elevated, expensive, or irritated mood. In order to make the diagnosis of mania, the symptom has to be present for more than seven days. We use the mnemonic, which is basically GST paid. So the patient should have more than three of these following symptoms. So G is for grandiosity. So the patient has increased in self-esteem or grandiosity. As for sleep, the patient has decreased need for sleep. T is for talkativeness, so patient talks excessively. P is for playable activities. There is excessive involvement of the playable activities that has the painful consequences like foolish business investment, unrestrained shopping sprees. A is for activity, so there is increase in goal-directed activity at work or at school. I is for ideas, there is a flight of ideas that is constantly going in patient's mind. D is for distractibility, patient is very distractible, they cannot focus on one task. So in order to make the diagnosis, the patient should have more than three of GST paid. Another important thing is that the functioning is markedly impaired at both social and occupational level. That is a very important criteria for making the diagnosis. The next is that these patients require hospitalization because of the severity of the symptoms. They also present with the psychotic symptoms as well. Coming to hypomania, hypomania is a milder form of the mania Patient can have any of these symptoms, but in much milder form. In order to make the diagnosis of hypomania, the symptom has to be present for more than four days. The level of the functioning is normal. They don't have any problem in the level of the functioning. They do not require hospitalization because the symptoms are not severe enough. The symptoms are very mild, so they do not require hospitalization. They do not have any psychotic symptoms, right? So basically, the major difference between mania and hypomania is severity of the symptoms and the duration of the symptoms. In mania, the duration is more than seven days, in hypomania, duration is more than four days. The symptoms in mania are very severe, so there is an occupational and functional impairment in functioning. The patient requires hospitalization. Patient has positive psychotic symptoms. In hypomania, the level of functioning is normal. They do not require hospitalization. They do not have any psychotic symptoms. So that's about the mania and hypomania. If you like this video, kindly subscribe to our channel. And thank you very much.